I have spoken to a lot of people who are incredibly confused about how the maths and further maths A levels work. So during this video I will seek to rectify this and hopefully explain how the A levels work, what units they contain and also how to get the best grades you possibly can. We'll start with maths. Now maths is made up of core 1, core 2, core 3, uh, uh, core 4, plus 2 applied. Now, I've just moved to the bottom of the sheet here. The applied units are stats or statistics, and they go from S1 to S4. Mechanics, which go from M1 to M5 and decision. Which is just D1 and D2. So as you can see, uh, there are 11 applied units of maths. Now for the maths A level, as we've discussed, you need to do all four core units, core 1, core 2, core 3, core 4, and two applied units. Now, the way in, this, way in which this is broken down traditionally is that for your AS, just quickly do a quick note here, AS will be C1, C2, Core 1, Core 2, plus, a, plus applied paper. Now, what this normally means is that it's Core 1, Core 2, plus M1, S1, or D1, because they are the applied units. However, because chances are if you're watching this video you may be at KES, we will be doing Core 1, Core 2 and Core 3 this year, so the two AS modules and one of the A2 modules, and then we'll do Core 4 and M1 and S1 next year. The AS modules are Core 1, Core 2, uh, S1, M1, D1 and FP1, the first further pure paper. So, the two applied can be any units in particular, they can't. They, there's, doesn't have, there's not a link, but they have to be consecutive. So you can do M1, M2, you can do S1, S2, but you can do S1 and S3. That would not be permitted. Now we'll move on to further maths, which is made up of FP1, which you must take for your AS. That is a compulsory module. Then there is FP... What have written R? FP2 to FP4 and also your and also the stats, mechanics and decisions that we've talked about. Now further maths is a bit of a mad one really. The only module that is tr traditionally compulsory is FP1. Uh, for your A for your proper A level you must take another further pure unit, but that can be obviously FP2, FP3 or FP4. So you only have to take two further pure modules to do your further maths A level and the rest of them can be made up of FP2, FP3, FP4 so you can do all four further pure units, you can do three further pure units or you could do you know the higher end stats units so S3 and S4, M3, M4, M5 and D2 so that's further maths there's a lot more freedom on what modules you can do but if I give you a typical set, most people will probably do something along the lines of FP1, FP3, we're going to say, um, ooh, M2, M2, S2, and some people might do D2, but you could do M3 or, or M3 or S3. Now, if you were a more physics-inclined physics, physics inclined person, you'd probably want to do, like, FP1, FP4, and then M2, do more mechanics, so M1, M2, M3, M4, possibly M5. Uh, if you're computer science, you'd probably want to do D1, D2, but then add some mechanics in to make it with modules. And if you're more of an economist, then you'll probably want to do the stats modules. Uh, the only restrictions, really, is that you must do... Um, in order to do either three or four or five of um, stats and mechanics, you must have done, you know, S1, S2 to do S3 and 4, M1 and M2 to do M3, M4 and 5. Uh, right then, just a quick breakdown of grades. In maths, as you can see, 
you must get 90% or higher in Core 3 and 90% or higher in Core 4 to get an A star. That's the only thing. With further maths, it's slightly different. With this, you need to get 90% in whichever further pure unit you do at A2. So FP1 doesn't really count for your A2. So you need to get either 90% in FP2, FP3 or FP4 and then in whichever other two modules you do at A2 so like you need 9% in M in any other module that you do for A2 the only 3 AS modules are S1, M1, D1 as I've said at KES, is the chances are if you're watching this video we will do FP1 then we'll do FP4 which is basic matrices and stuff and then we do D1 uh, lunch times so that will give you kind of the three you need for an AS whereas in maths we'll have slightly more of an AS because we do two AS units and an A2 unit. Thank you very much for listening.